Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 27 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. As you can see, you can't keep me from challenge runs forever, because I'm going to have to do them all anyway. And we did recently unlock the cellar, and I'm very happy about that. Turns out I had to do it in one of those rooms where I fought two Geminis at the same time. And thanks to Taurus, I was able to make that happen. Oh, and Mom's knife helped as well. So, let's do Cat Got Your Tongue. I imagine it's going to be about Guppy. Of course. Alright, so here's my seed here. J-H-B-T-Y-L-O-F. Jebediet? Yellow-off. I don't know. Alright, so as you can see, I start with Guppy's tail, which means I'm going to get a lot more golden chests. Guppy's head, which spawns flies, and Guppy's hairball. So because I am Guppy, oh, and I can't shoot tears either. Oh dear. Does this mean I'm going to have to rely on the blue flies and, you know, Guppy's hairball? Which is so weird, because you have to swing it using your own momentum kind of like a ball and chain, you know? I mean, the more enemies it kills, the bigger it gets, which is awesome. But still, it's... If they don't walk into it, you can't hurt them. Oh, this is going to be bad. I, I don't know how this is going to work. It's, it's still a little bit better than Solar System by every stretch of the imagination. I guess I'll have to, like, go around in a circle. I mean, that's pretty much the best way I'm going to be able to swing these shots my way. Or shot, swing those shots their way. Okay, apparently Guppy's hairball cannot take out fire. Well, luckily it's Larry Jr. That, that's an easy boss, anyway. And I'm also at the point where, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of damage with Guppy's hairball anyway. It looks like every time the hairball makes contact with enemies, I spawn flies. Because it technically counts as a hit. That could make things pretty interesting. I mean, I'm scared, but at the same time, I'm intrigued. Because we do have offensive capabilities. Not great ones, but they still exist. The only downside is that Guppy's hairball is going to shrink whenever you finish a floor. But if I can keep swinging it in such a way that... Oh, damn. That was bad. That if the orbit around it gets bigger and bigger, then I can be a little bit further from the enemies. Of course, when it comes to pride, I gotta be extra cautious. Uh, Anarchist Cookbook is not going to help me. So, let's just stick with Guppy's head, obviously. That would be the wise decision. Poops could be scary as well. There's too many poops. Takes a lot to make a poo. I, I already made that song one time. I think the whole too many cooks meme died down a long time ago. Usually fads last for like a few days and then you hardly ever want to hear from them ever again. Also, I should check for tin of rocks that unfortunately I won't be able to do anything with currently. Oh, but I can't do something with this. Let's see what this pill is. Ah, pretty fly. Well, I am to deal with flies anyway, so this is actually good. I just gotta remember if I find, like, say, a mom's knife or a brimstone not to take them because they're gonna be useless to me. I mean, yeah, they're very good items, but what's the point of those items if you can't use them? Can't shoot tears, I have to rely on the hairball. BFF? What's that gonna do for me? Your friends rule! Um... They rule, but in what way? Does it make my familiar stronger? I don't know, it feels like the hairball is bigger. Okay, now we got our first taste of the cellar. Okay, this should be fun-ish. Alright, with five bombs, I should definitely be able to find something in these fires. I found one soul heart. Okay, two! That way I don't give up my evil heart. That makes me feel good about my chances. Also, Tinamrock over there. Oh, I 
I don't have any more keys. That's disappointing. Ooh, we found the secret shop, though. This could be real good for us. I take that back. It's a holy water. Uh, if only I had fly love. This would go really good with this type of run. Ugh. It was only holy water, but it's better than nothing. I mean, I could smash those pots over there with bombs to uh, get some money out of them. Or, you know, find spiders. That, that happens too. I mean, the longer a floor goes, the more damage I'm going to do. Let's just put that in our heads right now. We're going to be really powerful the more damage we do with this hairball. We're still at a high risk, given that I pretty much have to swing it with the momentum all the time. However, this is still very doable. Also, I really like the music in the cellar. I'm not going to lie. Um, I, uh, I was trying to swing that the right way. But obviously... Oh yeah, I still got a charge. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that wasn't the spider that exploded. Oh, another tin of rock right over here. A gold chest. Oh, we finally get Abel. Wait, I can't shoot, but can Abel shoot? Yes, he can. All right, so I do have the ability to shoot. Just remember that Abel is well. It's weak. Well, at least I won't have to worry about the poop. Because now I can just have Abel do the work. So Abel can work like a very good utility role, so to speak. It still takes like a hundred million years. But it works. So we got a little something decent going on. So we found a practical use for Abel. I gotta take on Pin. Whoa! Did like half damage one shot! That's incredible! That was not incredible. Looks like Pin's kinda stuck. And now he's dead. So I'll definitely take the HP upgrade. Let's see what's on our deal with the devil. Um, that was actually pretty good. I mean we've got some soul hearts, which unfortunately I can't pick up. Also, I should let Abel put out the fire. I got two bombs, so maybe we should look for secret rooms. So that might be a, my best decision to make here. Oh, there it is. So, you know, I'd rather, you know, save up on some keys. Because they might come in handy later, given I got Guppy's tail. Uh, portable slot machine's not any good. Okay. We'll just swing our way over here, no pun intended. Because, you know, swinging is what we're going to be doing. And tarot cards, the lovers. I'd rather the sun. The sun is awesome. You know, when you go to sleep and you wake up, and you see the sun beaming down on you, and then you get UVA, UVB rays, and all that shit. Okay, well, maybe the sun is not that great. I mean, for something that's supposed to be a benevolent blessing in our morning routine, it's actually very damaging. You never get any radiation or cancer from the moon. Maybe I should be worshipping the moon instead of the sun. At least the moon doesn't let you down. And it can be very romantic as well. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but... Oh, well. Okay, I was told that when it comes to demon judgment, you can actually swing, like, uh, two uses of it with half a red heart, if you're fast enough. Can't do that with a blood bank, though. Somebody in the comments told me about that, so thank you. And we got the virus for that. Hematemesis. Okay, yeah, I'll just fill that back up again. And you know, if the uh, Demon Judgment didn't pay out right away, I mean, we always had the Sun card, which I'd rather save for much later. Anything that's that good, I don't want to use early, unless I absolutely have to. What's this go? Ah, range up. Let's 
kind of useless in this situation. Oh, managed to still get hit by that. These enemies can be very tricky to work with, especially the uh, gray ones. You have to get, like, inside the shots. Or worst, com worst case scenario, you let Abel do the work. And that takes a little bit longer to do. Wait, can I still... Oh, I can still get blue flies if Abel hits them! Oh my god, you can cheese this! That's an interesting synergy. Like, if I want blue flies to do most of the damage, I'll just let Abel hit the enemies, and I'll still get the flies. I did not know that. You learn something new every day. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a bomb stuck to him, so I can just do this myself. I feel like I should be doing the damage myself with a hairball just to make it a little bit stronger. It's not a bad idea. In fact, it's a, it's a decent idea. Oh my god, you really want me to pick get horrible slot machine, don't ya? If it'll make you happy, I'll, I'll take it eventually. Just so I never see it again. But my god, why'd you have to show up two shops in a row? If I got a lot more money, then I'll justify getting it. But right now, I'll suck it up if I see it again. But I really don't want to. Because it's really not going to help me. This could help me, though. Give me enough money. Oh, yeah. Tinted Rock right over there. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit! That's actually a bad room to use the, uh... Well, that. You know what I meant to say, I don't even know. Yeah, that was a secret room. Why do I keep thinking that the, uh, other area... Like, you know, to the left of the secret room... Had a gap. It didn't have a gap. Not a gap store, either. So you know what, I think I'd rather buy the key than buy the portable slot machine in the grand scheme of things. There. So, let's just go and open up that chest. That sounded kind of rapey, but let's continue here. And in this gold chest, hopefully we can find a uh, pedestal item. Uh, I found some bombs. I was short on bombs, but now I have no more keys. Kinda of hard to decide what is the worst of it. Uh, if I do need to heal again, I mean, I got the uh, rainbow poop over there. So it doesn't really feel like a lost cause, let's put it that way. I'll get a big fly army going. Against Gertie Jr. This kind of battle would make me nervous. But I got the virus. Oh my god, I couldn't have made him. I tried, but I failed miserably. But we get an HP upgrade anyway, and a deal with the devil. No reason to take Brimstone. Definitely no reason to take Guppy's Paw. I don't think I'd want to take any of these items. I think we're just gonna go on and leave. Hop's rotten head? Do I... I don't know. I can already make flies anyway. But it takes too many charges. So I might end up sticking with Guppy's head. Yeah, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And it fits more in the theme of the challenge run. I think the challenge run ends at Mom! Okay. Well, that'll be a nice reprieve. Given the kind of shit you have to pull just to do damage, which I practically cheesed by using Abel, who, by the way, is all the way over there. Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like I create flies just by shooting. It's only if I hit something. Well, that's kind of shitty. Abel still has to hit a target. And that's a fool. That's worthless. Yeah, I think Gubby's head is the best idea to stick with. Okay, I think I'd rather able exclusively deal with these enemies. Because if I have to deal with them, I'm taking damage. That's just the way it is.
That's much better. Could not have played that any better. Unless, you know, I pretty much aimed all my shots perfectly. Hey! Jesus, that was close. How the hell do these uh, shots actually explode when they go over the pits, anyway? Is this like some kind of fake floor? Makes you wonder. Okay, I see another tinted rock right over here. If I place the bomb over here, I might find a secret room that's not there. Jeez. <laughs> Enough spiders in this uh, particular uh, room? Please give me a key to get me going. Remember, the secret room was not in that room I was to before. So it's not like I can just bomb my way into the shop. Even though I have enough bombs, just no keys. There we go. Oh, there's our key. Now let's go to the shop. Please don't s show portable slot machine again. I kind of wish there was portable slot machine now. <laughs> Over greed? I take him over greed any day of the week. I, what? I would laugh if greed actually decided to drop portable slot machine instead. Then you get both. Bag ass. Okay. That's how I feel about portable slot machine right now. In this type of run, at least. It's just not going to be a help in this situation. This will, though. Ironically, you had to spend a key to get a key. Who came up with that value proposition? He's like, do I want to spend one key to get a key? Sure. It's well worth it. Oh, wait. It's not. There wasn't a gap over here. Okay, this could be a good spot for a secret room. It was. I just want to make sure that I was not bombing somewhere that I really shouldn't. You know, like, yet your mama. <laughs> That's bad. Taking on the Fallen. I don't think that's bad. Well, not great either. In fact, now I can see why it's... She is bad. You hardly will be able to swing the, uh... Airball as well as you'd like. Given you have to worry about the Fallen, like, you know, shooting. Not to mention dashing. Well, if the Hairball just sticks behind you, like, between you and the Fallen, then it's really good. But, you know, if there's any bit of distance, then obviously it may not happen. Whoa. Apparently, Gubby's hairball can also serve as a shield. I did not know that. Okay, so we'll take the pact. That'll give us two soul hearts. Damage, it doesn't even matter. A <laughs> prayer card. Okay, I'll take it and use it once. Am I going to fight the angels? Oh my god, we actually do get to fight the angels. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh my god, he can shoot multiple ways. So yeah, I don't know if it just does like only half a heart of damage, these uh, beams of judgment. I think it is like half a heart. Okay, those kind of shots I can easily dodge. And the angel's dead, so we get one piece of the key. So what this piece of the key does is it affects, you know, that giant door we saw earlier in the dark room. You have to get, like, two pieces of that key in order to open it. But it's not going to matter because we can't even go that far. I just wanted to get the soul heart, and, well, I guess we're going to have to fight these guys anyway. Luckily, the angel is not that hard of an enemy. I mean, yeah, it's got, like, a... Uh tricky pattern if you can't really shoot tears at all. But that's besides the point. That's just for the condition of this run. Like, most times you'll be fighting the angel, you can shoot tears anyway. Well, shoot anything! Doesn't necessarily have to be tears. Could be a blood laser, could be a knife, could be just bombs or regular lasers. That's fine too. Holy water actually paid out in the end. Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. I don't know what I was thinking there. I don't know. But, I mean, we gotta try it. How did you miss all of them? 
Wait, is Bob's brain actually bigger? Is this because of BFF? Because it looks bigger than it normally is. Well, the good thing about Bob's brain here is that I hardly shoot anyway. So it'll be a lot more easier to aim. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Okay, secret room would not be here. I just wanted to double check. Well, this would have been a spot to check anyway. <laughs> mm, yeah, this is Bob's brain worthy. There we go. And let us uh, continue swinging on here, no pun intended. Because, oh yeah, I forgot that that was an enemy. I keep forgetting about these uh, ghosts. When I see other enemies with them, I don't think these are enemies, but they are. Those little mini haunts. He's kind of stuck. So maybe I shouldn't release him from his uh, infernal poo prison. There! Haha! <laughs> Choosing it! Yeah, m my familiars are definitely much bigger because of a BFF. So that means they're a little bit more effective. I feel like they actually get bigger and bigger. Even though it doesn't look like they are, it feels like it. Or could this be because of some effect with Guppy's hairball? That makes other familiars bigger. I feel like the key! Like, the part of the key is getting bigger! What the fuck is going on? I feel like my familiars are growing and growing the more that Guppy's hairball grows and grows and grows. Look! You have to look at it to believe it. I mean, once you see it with your own eyes. Like, between now and when we go on to the next floor, you'll see that the familiars are going to be slightly smaller. Because Guppy's hairball will get smaller. Go back to normal size. I feel like when Guppy's hairball gets bigger, so do the familiars. I don't know if their effects change or if they actually get stronger. But it feels like it's more of an aesthetic difference than anything. I don't know. It just feels so weird. But, oh well. It's never a dull day in Isaac, let me tell ya. That's why I have so much fun with this game. And why I decided to renew this type of series when Rebirth came out. Yeah, I'd rather destroy that. Even if it is a slow process. Oh, we gotta take on the gate. You swing me right around. That's not how it goes. Also, I gotta start using the brain at least once. According to my calculations, I'm gonna blow your shit up! <laughs> like, there's gotta be an Arthur Abridged that's gotta be out on YouTube eventually. Like, Arthur the Abridged series. I <laughs> imagine that. Oh, Curse of Darkness. I didn't want to imagine that. Ah, goat head doesn't matter, but I'll take it. Okay, it feels like the familiars are still the same size. Maybe this is just solely tied to BFF. Oh my god. This is not a good run. Well, this is not a good room. Oh, direct hit. Good. Took way too much damage there. I thought we were going to have, like, a decent run where we were going to, like, uh, win it all. Because, you know, I've been doing just fine. Playing Guppy's head effectively. And now getting Bob's brain is just going to add another layer of success. But now, I feel like things have gotten out of control for all the wrong reasons. I feel like the hairball doesn't even look like a hairball anymore, but rather like a giant turkey. Like you would have on Thanksgiving. You know, pre ruin the Native Americans, steal their land kind of shit. Turkey. I don't know. I don't want to make this about that. Because we have our Thanksgiving in October! Americans are usually late for a lot of stuff. <laughs> but I digress.
Oh yeah, I haven't even used uh, Guppy's head yet. Huh, speaking of late, the irony. A lot of people are probably going to be saying that now. Uh, Bunga talks about Americans being late, but he doesn't even use Guppy's head. Oh god. Well, oh, what even matter? I can't even shoot. Uh, sure, we'll take Hive Mind. Giant spiders and flies? Oh my god, why does it look like my familiars are actually getting bigger again? Oh dear. This run has gone off the rails. I still have that sun card though, so that's my easy out if things really go wrong. Okay, let's continue. Oh, these scum again. Okay, they're not gonna get me again. Making sure of that. Okay, so far so good. Oh, gluttony. Should not have let that hit me there. Oh, but I get an HP upgrade anyway. And 48 hour energy. Yeah, let's let's get a massive fly army on the go. You know, probably just one enemy that's super weak. Nope, never mind. It's a giant room with pins. One's dead. Oh, almost had the other one. That wasn't the one I've been targeting the whole time. Eventually, once I stopped, like, uh, taking a break from challenge runs, do traditional runs, I definitely want to, like, complete that giant key there. So we can get into that gold door eventually. Not to mention, I do have to complete the Polaroid and get Satan victories for everyone. As well as boss rush victories for everyone. So, you know, my little list of uh, things to do in Isaac is still ongoing. Oh, I didn't think you were going to get me from there. Specs are quite smart. Even though they have no, like, actual intelligence or feelings. Oh, that was my fault. It was also my fault. Could have taken... Oh my god, where did you come from? Like, I didn't even think it was... Chubby was gone that way. Oh, yeah, let's use the Emperor leave the Sun Car behind. That's a real smart play. Let's do it. Okay, it's blue, Mom, so this could be bad. I mean, we're going to have to rely on the brain exclusively? Is that how this is going to work? I mean, by the time I get the hairball over there, it's going to be too late. I'm gonna have to use the sun card, I betcha. Oh, that turned out really well. You know what, let's use it right now. Better not be stupid. There, we win! Take the negative for no reason whatsoever. Ah, that was holy grail. You know what, for shits and giggles. Let's take on the other angel. Okay, this one is actually a little bit stronger. Because I actually fire four ways. And I can summon these. Yeah, so apparently you get to fight two different kinds of angels. And they vary in strength. Whoa, this one wants to tag up to me. You know, suit yourself. You're going to get a face full of cat. You know, that topped it up. Even though it's not going to matter to you, you don't even have a face. And there's the other piece of the key. It's too bad we can't really use it. What is in this tin and rock? I'm curious. Oh, okay. Got the Rune of Algis. Alright, well, that's another challenge run complete. For How many more left do I have to do? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And with those two locked, that's really twelve. Okay. So, what other vanilla runs can I do? Well, Isaac just needs to go to the chest and the dark room. And let's see. Maggie still hasn't finished Boss Rush or Isaac. 
I think I should focus on boss rush and uh, Satan victories if possible. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can play as Eden again. I've had an interesting Eden run last time several parts ago, and it could be completely different. So next episode, yeah, we'll do an Eden run. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.